Hello and welcome to this quick tips video which is about editing velocity and indeed anything else that you can edit in the control lane of multiple parts at the same time without having to glue them together. So you may know if you double click a part, hopefully you know that you can open it up in the editor in the lower zone or you may have it in a standalone editor depending on your preferences. You hopefully also know things such as the line tool will work on it. And indeed, if you have everything selected, then these handles appear and you can play around with their velocities and so on. What you may not know is if you have multiple parts selected on the track, so for instance, this one, I can shift and click on it or I can right click and do select all events, then that will also be in this editor. And if I zoom out in the lower zone, so just click in the lower zone and then zoom out, that appears there. You can see it's not exactly selected because this is the one we're currently working on and this one is sort of in the background. But if we click on this one, then we can edit that. If we click on this one, we can edit that. If we use the line tool, however, or any of its other modes, you can see that works across all of those, which is quite handy if you want to do a ramp across multiple parts and you don't want to glue them together, that kind of thing. In addition, if you select all, so if we go back to the arrow tool, control or command A, and then we can use the info line and you can see that will affect all of those at the same time as well. What doesn't work is these handles. These handles here only stick to the part you currently have active, which is the first part in this case. So maybe I'd do that. And then on this one here, that would then work on that. And again, I'd need to select all on there. And now because I've got this part selected, now it works on those. So it's not totally seamless, but it can be useful, particularly if you don't want to glue things together for whatever reason. So that's the semi-quick tip of how to use that tool across multiple parts at the same time. It has some limitations, but it can be useful. Now, it's something which came up as a comment on another video, and I thought I'd just show how it does work in case anyone else wants to use it. And it's one of those things where you might only use it every now and then, but knowing that you can do that really quickly and easily, like everything else in Cubase, is useful to know because one day it will help you and then you'll be able to concentrate on making music rather than gluing parts together and playing around with them. As ever, hope you found that useful and we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.